So sometimes lunch is hard at my house. Lots of days I open the fridge, I look around, and I can't find anything that I actually want to eat. So today I thought I would change things around a little bit and I'm sharing with you five delicious lunch recipes that you can make in your Instant Pot. A quick shout out to ZipTop for sponsoring this video. You guys know I'm very picky about my sponsors, but ZipTop is something I've been using and I absolutely love it. So I'm curious if your cupboard full of plastic containers looks like mine. Oof. Yes, I know. I struggle with lids and I struggle with the plastic containers, but ZipTop is just a little bit different. I love it because it is one piece. It zips up. It's reusable. You guys are always asking me if I could use reusable things for my freezer mills. Guess what? These can go in the freezer, they can go in the microwave, they can go in the fridge, and open them up, they can go into the dishwasher. Yes. So if you guys are ready, let's get cooking. The first recipe I'm making is avocado chicken burritos. Now first I'm gonna cook the chicken, so I'm gonna put about three, two to three pounds of chicken breast into the bottom of the Instant Pot. Make sure you add a half a cup to a cup of water. Go ahead and put the lid on. You're gonna turn that little knob to ceiling. Then we're gonna cook it for about 25 minutes because they're frozen. Now after it's done cooking, you can just walk away. All right, when it's done cooking, turn that knob to venting, let all the pressure out, open it up, and I like to shred my chicken. Now, because it's avocados, you need some avocado. So I'm taking my avocado, just slicing it into a few slices. Then I'm gonna take more to my tortilla, put down some pepper jack cheese, cause that's my favorite, but you can put whatever cheese you want. Go ahead and add on a little bit of chicken, put on some of your avocado. You can add bacon too, that would be delicious. Then I just like to squirt just a little bit of ranch onto it. Go ahead and fold in the sides and then roll up the rest of the tortilla. Now I cleaned out my Instant Pot so I can use it again. I'm gonna push the saute button, wait till it's getting warm, and then I am making crispy burritos because that is my favorite way to eat burritos. So once it's a little bit warm, I'm gonna go ahead and put my little burritos in there, flip them over when it's time, and yep, that makes them all nice and crunchy. Quick tip before you put them in, make sure you spray them with some cooking spray. They'll be a lot easier to pull out. Now I like to make quite a few of these because I like to pack them for my lunches for the week. Now I love that there are different sizes of the zip top. This one fits one very comfortably, but there are bigger sizes that you can put a few in so I can just put that in my fridge and pull them out when I want it. Now the next recipe is our sausage green beans and potatoes. It's one of my new favorites. So you're gonna start by pushing the saute button, wait till it's hot, then you're gonna add a little bit of olive oil. Next we're gonna add about a half of an onion. Go ahead and mix that up until it starts smelling fragrant or it's cooked through. Next I'm gonna use chicken apple sausage. I like this because it's a little bit healthier and you're just gonna go ahead and chop up all four of the sausages. Then go ahead and dump those on top of the onions. Now these sausages are already cooked through but we want them a little bit crispier. Next is time for the potatoes. So I have about four brown potatoes that I am chopping up and dumping in. You can use any kind of potato that you like. I just like the rust potatoes because it makes it easy. Next I'm gonna add one cup of chicken broth and then 28 ounces of green beans. You can use fresh beans if you want, but I really do love canned beans, so that's why I'm eating it today. Okay, go ahead and mix it a little bit. Go ahead and put your lid on. Make sure that little knob is turned to ceiling, not venting. You're gonna push the cancel button because you're on saute. Press pressure cook, and then it's gonna cook for about seven minutes. When it's done, go ahead and release the pressure, open it up, and your potatoes are cooked and everything is cooked together. So any leftovers I have, I'm putting it in my zip top. I love it because I can stick it in the microwave when I'm ready to eat it for lunch tomorrow. Next up is my seven can taco soup. I love this because you can dump everything and lunch is ready in a matter of minutes. I'm starting with one can of pinto beans rinsed and drained, black beans rinsed and drained. This is a can of corn, don't rinse that. Diced tomatoes, also don't rinse those. We have one can of chicken broth, so about two cups, and then one can of enchilada sauce. I like green enchiladas. Now, I like to have either canned chicken that's why it's called seven can soup, but I kind of like rotisserie chicken better. So I'm throwing in a large rotisserie chicken so I don't have to use the cans. Then I'm gonna just do one packet of taco seasoning. Go ahead and dump that in too. And that is all you have to do. You can add a little salt and pepper if you like, but we're making it easy. Turn your little knob to sealing, not venting. You're gonna push pressure cook, and then it only cooks for four minutes. Yes. All right, when it's done, go ahead and 
turn that knob to venting, release all the pressure, and your soup is all done. I'm serious, lunch is ready in a matter of minutes. Now I love these little zip tops because you can throw them into the freezer so you can freeze any leftover soup. All right, the next one is our Instant Pot Beef Gyros, Gyros, whatever you call them, that's what they are. So we're gonna add about a half a cup of beef broth to the bottom. Then I have about two to three pounds of steak that I just sliced up. You can also use a roast if you want to. Next I'm going to add an onion. So I just kind of sliced it into big slices, not chopped it up, because I like there to be a little bit of onion chunks in my gyros. Then in a separate bowl, you're gonna take four teaspoons of minced garlic. Then I have about one teaspoon of oregano, half teaspoon of salt and pepper, and go ahead and dump it in. Then I have, ooh, about three tablespoons of lemon juice, and then just a little bit, about a fourth cup of olive oil. Go ahead and mix that all together. We're gonna to pour this right on top of our onions and our little steak. Now that is it. Go ahead and put the lid on. Make sure that little knob is turned to C-Link, not venting. You're gonna push the pressure cook button and then we're going up to 25 minutes. That is it. So when it's done, go ahead and release that pressure to make that little knob button come up. And once all the pressure is released, you can open the lid. It is cooked to perfection. <laughs> it really smells so good. Now, you would usually serve these on pitas, but pitas are a little thick for me, so I'm actually just using a little bit thicker tortillas. Put a little bit of meat. I like to do shredded lettuce, add some tomatoes, maybe add a little bit of cucumbers. I love the fresh vegetables on top. And then you can always add a sauce, but I actually just like to eat mine plain, just like this. Now, if you're gonna make these ahead of time, make sure to get all the juice out so you won't have any soggy pitas or tortillas. Go ahead and zip them up, and when you're ready to eat, you can just heat them up and eat them. Now, the last recipe I'm making for you is healthy lettuce wraps. So all you need is a jar of your favorite salsa, some ground chicken or turkey, depending on what you like, and then also some riced cauliflower. Now to cook it in the Instant Pot, you're gonna push the saute button. You're gonna wait until the pot is warm, then you're gonna put in your turkey. But because I have a lot of people who don't like to use their Instant Pot for this, I'm gonna show you how I do it over the skillet. You can do it in the Instant Pot or skillet either way. So now you're gonna take your chicken or turkey, whatever you have, and go ahead and brown it up nicely in your skillet. Now, once your meat has started to brown just a little bit, you can go ahead and add your cauliflower rice onto it. It's still frozen, I am just cooking it just from frozen, just like this. Then mix it around until your meat is all the way cooked and your cauliflower rice is nice and soft. Once everything is cooked, it's now time to add the salsa. So I'm adding one jar, about 16 ounces, of just your favorite salsa. And go ahead and just gently mix that in. So once the salsa is heated through, your chicken and turkey is cooked and your cauliflower rice is nice and tender, you can go ahead and start putting it on your wraps. Now I like to just have this with the lettuce wrap. You can always add a little salsa or if any cheese that you would like, but I'm pretty basic when it comes to lunch. I try and eat a healthier lunch and then I usually eat whatever my family is having for dinner. Now with storing leftovers, I would suggest getting all your lettuce already, put that in one container, and then you're gonna take your meat and put in another one because we want to heat up our meat and have nice cold lettuce. It just tastes better that way. Now if you want to order your own zip tops, I'll put a link down below in the description for you. And if you want more Instant Pot recipes, I'll leave some of my favorites right up there just for you. See you later. Bye.